Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. And we're here at Anderton's.co.uk in sunny Guildford. And there's something different about you today, Rob. There is. I'm sporting a... No, it's a new sport bash. <laughs> Chapman Guitars <laughs> ML1! <laughs> And I've got a moustache. And I've got a moustache. And I've got an ML1. Yeah. But I've got the, uh, I've got the sort of dark tanned, probably swarthy looking Mediterranean ML1. Ooh. Whereas Rob's got the more Nordic pale, sort of pasty looking ML1. Now yes. why is that, Rob? Well, because one of the perks of being a guy that owns a guitar company with another guy that owns a guitar company <laughs> is that we can put up the phone and go, hey, we just thought today we'd make a Swamp Ash ML1. And they go, oh yeah, sure, no problem. And then we have them made and then we get them and we sell them to you if you want them. So the ML1 in natural has been one of the best selling guitars that we've uh, ever made. It's been an award winning guitar. Yeah, it's been, it's won an award for uh, best budget guitar in the world. In the world? Oh! As voted for by Music Radar. And it's up for an award of best electric guitar of 2013 uh, yeah. from Guitarist Mag in the UK and we find out in about three weeks time whether we've won that but it's been nominated for that and this is this one and when we originally made ML1 we did a natural finish one out of solid mahogany and then we did some uh, veneer sort of covered glossy ones same timber but sort of gloss covered and they kind of sounded a little different didn't they yes um, they reacted differently when you played them yeah uh, and they did sound slightly different, but it was more the way they reacted to the playing. Yeah. But Catman and I thought, you know what, if we make one from Swamp Ash, yeah. uh, and we make one from Mahogany, I think they'll sound different because tone woods make a difference so that's what to we, the guitar yeah. and sound. We, and we know it's a, a debate that YouTube loves. Does it make a difference, you know, or is it just the pickups and just the strings? So we have two ML1 guitars. These are from the same production run. So these are both approximately... I don't know, maybe six weeks, two months ago these were built and yep. they've just been shipped over. They are exactly the same construction. Same strings. We have had the pickups measured to the millimetre. They're yeah. exactly the same height. Yeah. They're the same pickups. We even have, <coughs> show them Rob, we're even going to use the, the same, same plectrum. plectrum. These, are these are Planet Waves one millimetre, which is not my chosen plectrum. Um, and we're going into the same amp and we're using an AB box kind of in reverse on the floor. So that basically, when I just, Rob and I can both strum a chord, hit a button on here, and you'll be hearing me through this amplifier, and then you'll be hearing Rob through this so amplifier this is on the, identical settings. The definitive YouTube video to show that yeah. bodywood makes a different tone. And we're going to use a clean tone now, and there's a reason for that. You're going to hear it more obviously on the clean tone. But if there's a difference in the clean tone, there absolutely has to be, Lee, yeah. a difference in the dirt tone because suddenly adding dirt doesn't make the difference go away. It'll yeah. be contained within the dirt tone. But we are getting to this point now, and I was, Rob and I spent a lot of time, because you guys love to debate on YouTube whether or not, you know, uh, would to make a difference or not. And certainly I think YouTube is probably the toughest environment <clears throat> within which to really hear that difference um, because of the way YouTube compresses the sound. And, and I was talking to Rob, the other day and we, we were all saying look you know when we talk about differences in tone you say well does a Marshall amp sound different to a Fender amplifier well of course it does everybody can hear the difference in that and then you get kind of into that next bit where you go does a Telecaster sound different to a Stratocaster well yes it does but perhaps that needs a more uh, experienced kind of uh, listener to sort of go yeah I can tell the difference and then you start going does Swamp Ash sound different to Mahogany and it and, does uh, but it's more of a feel to the yeah, player it becomes that point where you're really into your sort of nano bits so you know yes I believe it does Rob believes it does hopefully yeah. YouTube will show you that it does but don't get us don't get me wrong we're not trying to tell you that this is kind of like chalk and cheese here no, you no, know, no, no. These, these are two different sort of flavors of the same thing anyway it's like look, a tweak of the EQ so anyway enough gonna, talking we're going to use a neck single coil pickup yes everything turned up full yep Clean now we're sound. both going to play an E major chord and we're both going to strum down Kill it, strum down, kill it, and then change. So I'm going to go first. You do ready? It, do it. Here's Chappers, Swamp Ash ML1. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> and this is important. We should strum in the same place. What you, oh, okay. Because if we so don't strum over in the, the same middle place, pickup. it will sound different. You're completely right. I'm going to strum just behind, just behind the, neck, the pick neck pickup. I will strum in the same place. Yes, you will. Ready? Yes. Action. Wait, let me tune. <laughs> Now, I can hear yep. yours is darker and yep. slightly quieter. Yeah, and that's that. I'm glad that because typically speaking, when you talk about mahogany as a tone wood, 
you would think of a guitar that um, is a deeper, mellower tone than uh, typically you'd get with an Ash or an older body guitar. Yes. Um, there is a weight difference as well, so you'd expect the Ash the Ash body is a tiny bit lighter than the mahogany body. Yes. Um, but tonally, absolutely, that should be a brighter, snappier tone. And it is. Uh, now, interestingly, <clears throat> if we switch to the, the humbucker position, Actually, I find the tonal difference slightly harder to hear now, so let's do the same thing again. But it has to be there, because there is a difference. So here's me. Try again, Lee. Sorry. <laughs> is that you? Okay, here's me. Swamp Ash. And here's me. Oh, now it's obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. Well, that's random, isn't yeah. it? It's a lot more obvious. Okay. Let's add a bit of gain, and now you're going to hear next to no difference, but there will be the difference inherently contained within the sound, because the sound was different to begin with. decay of the upper harmonics is what I'm hearing because I like to listen to my upper harmonics therefore there's a difference in tone words we all knew that anyway yeah let's hope you can hear that what you're hearing again we haven't actually done this with a terribly kind of um, sensitive microphone we've just got an SM57 on a, a Victory V10 amp and a little bit of camera <coughs> mic blended in um, obviously YouTube's going to compress this sound right down so if you can hear a tiny difference in YouTube Please take our word for it that in the room, the difference is bigger. Yes, um, but they're exactly the same, same gauge of yeah. strings, same spectrum. So, anyway, experiment over. Yes. What we really just want to hear now is Rob rocking out on this thing, because this is brand new. Has just arrived in stock. Now, we only made 24 of these as a sort of an experiment to see how it would go. There's no more in the pipeline. Even if we did decide to make some more of these, it'll be at least six months before they come through. Yes. So if you want one <coughs> of the first ML1s in Swamp Ash ever in the universe, maybe never again to be made. We're not sure at the moment. I'm going to call it the it Mud Claw. That's the my nickname claw. for it, the Mud Claw. Um, and it's great looking, beautiful kind of grain on here. Um, then snap one up fast. It's the same price as all the rest of the ML1. What range. I really love is the fact that when Lee and I were sat down in mm -hmm. the office just having a chat, drinking a coffee, and I went, oh, let's do a Swamp Ash ML1, it would be badass. And I saw it in my head. This is exactly what I saw in Give my head. Give him the spin. Give him the spin. Okay, here's the spin. Basically, it's the same back that you would get on a regular ML1 just like this Just a finished one. back. Um, it's got a pubic hair just here. So yeah, that's that mine. doesn't come free with it, unfortunately. Or and uh, and uh, you get a nice bag. <clears throat> Show them the bag, just in case you haven't seen the okay. bag. Okay, it comes with a deluxe gig bag. Chapman with bag. With pockets and things, and it's really, really lovely. And you get a love. It comes with tools, comes with great karma and our love. <clears throat> and more importantly, it rocks. Do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So <coughs> same same thing. Exactly the same thing. Now do it. Heavier. <laughs> Guys, that is the definitive. Does wood make a difference? I can tell you, wood does make a difference. Ably demonstrating <coughs> the new Swamp Ash ML1 with its brother, the ML1 in mahogany. Yes. Anyway, uh, how much do these retail for? Three sixty nine. Three sixty nine. That that's exactly UK, the same price. As yes, these. that's UK pounds, including <coughs> VAT and free shipping in the UK. And if you live in America, you don't pay the VAT, but you pay it in dollars, and it works out something like about five hundred dollars. Yeah. Something. If you want to buy one, get one right now. You get it here. I've been Chappers. I've been the captain. Take it easy, Chappers and Captain out.